let me give you my own experience my own understanding of my own personal calling as you apply that to yourself from the beginning even before deeper life started as deeper christian life ministry the vision he gave that he gave me the heavenly vision is that people will get saved their lives will be transformed their lives will turn around and they then will take the word of god that says follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the lord that was the vision and so we started the bible study of 15 people actually before we started the bible study i was invited to the university over there 1972 and he gave me the subject to preach and to the best of my understanding of the scripture i preached that talking about salvation transformation if any man be in christ he is a new creature old things have passed away and behold all things all things all things have become new i deliver the message as i have learned in the world immediately i finish i just dropped the microphone then somebody came and took that microphone he said wait 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 everybody we don't accept what the man has preached he said nobody can live above sin nobody can live without sin they will all be sinning until they get over there yonder what could i do it wasn't my fellowship it wasn't my ministry it wasn't my congregation they invited me so i just sat down another person then came and said no hold on we too we don't believe but let him go away and after he's gone away we'll settle ourselves and then uh, that same year the lord brought me to that university to do my postgraduate in education and I didn't want to have anything to do with that bunch because they said they didn't want the word of God. But God worked it out that eventually uh, they invited me. Actually, they were looking for a speaker, a great, great speaker. They had, you know, the meeting was on and the speaker did not come. So they came to me and they said, uh, would you please help us to, you know, address the people? And then I got up five minutes. I said, give me five minutes to prepare. And then I put some things on paper. And uh, God used me. And people were saved. And people repented. Lives turned around. And then the second day, the speaker did not come. They said, come on again. Third day, the speaker did not come. They said, come again. That's how the Lord made me at that time. In the midst of opposition in the midst of contradiction to carry the heavenly vision to them there and by the grace of god we then started deeper life there when i became a lecturer there university of lagos and we had about 15 people and then we went to the same vision the same vision not cheap grace that makes people live a defeated life a sinful life grace grace that is greater than all our sins grace that purifies us within grace that makes us to live a life that god himself has ordained if christ died on the cross of calvary crown of thorns upon his head or the lashes upon his back almost naked shameful death and then after that, all we have is living a sinful life. That will be painful to the Lord. But he died to give us grace. The grace that lives in righteousness. And since that time, by the grace of God, I've continued publicizing, proclaiming, preaching of that heavenly vision about people that have openly to my face have rejected have told me they didn't want that 
I could tell you stories of people that came, the first stage, and they came with what they call prophecy. And he told me that this will not continue. They said, God sent them to me to tell me that there's no holiness. I said, God sent you to me for me to tell you that without holiness, you will not get to heaven. He wanted you to hear. That's why he sent you to me. Not that he sent you to me to tell me that there's no holiness. I didn't allow anyone, not choir, not worker, to change the heavenly vision. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall say the Lord. And we're sustaining that. I'm sustaining that. I do crusade, but I'm still deep alive. I go to other churches, but I'm still deep alive. I help all the people I can help. I will not allow crusade, help, helping others to take the heavenly vision away from me. It will not. I said it will not. By the way, choir, if you are deep alive, choir, when you come to sing at the crusade, don't bring that worldly dancing, don't bring that into the, you know, crusade where deep alive is organizing. And then don't bring all that kind of dress that I saw last night. The woman shall not put on. That would belongs to a man. When you wear a jacket like I'm wearing now, that belongs to the man. When you wear your trousers of whatever make, that belongs to the man. Crusade doesn't mean that we forget where we're coming from. Crusade does not mean that we forget the heavenly vision and we bring the world into the church. It was tough. And so you pastors who are here, don't say, I saw those uh, deep alive uh, choir members, the ladies, I saw the way they dressed, I saw what they put on. I'm going to go to my church and do that also. Those are incorrigible members of deeper life. We have, you know, different, um, you know, categories of deeper life. The people who respect their pastor, the people who love their pastor, the people who accept everything their pastor is saying, they wouldn't do that. They don't see me sitting on the seat there and then bring the dancing of the world and the dressing of the world right in my presence there and say if we can do it in his presence we can do it in his absence maybe you can because that's a nature the nature of incorrigibility but whatever people do to me whatever people do in my presence i I've made up my mind, I will continue with the heavenly vision. How about you? I said, how about you? I might tell you the whole story. 1977, as I continued, my overseer then in the church I was going, he called me and he said, Kumui, didn't even say brother, Kumui, this thing you're doing, you know, it's going to land you in trouble. I said, what am I doing? You're going about your preaching. We're not giving you ordination or license to do that. I said, well, the Bible gives me the license to do that. He said, Bible, are you quoting Bible to me? I said, well, Bible believers now. He said, okay. And then the following Sunday, they went to the church, announced my name, and they said, I was excommunicated sent out of the church and i couldn't attend that church again i didn't drop the heavenly vision because of that i faced opposition i faced contradiction i faced people who have iron for their backbone in their incorrigibility that didn't change me but else that will not change me i came for the heavenly vision i came with all my heart Wanting to sacrifice everything I've got to hell 
in Bielsa State. And whether they are choir, whether they are ministers, whatever, Bielsa State will not steal and take away the heavenly vision from my hand. Amen. Give me a good, good amen. amen. You'll be unhappy if you heard that after I left Bielsa State, that you know the attitude and the actions and the dressing so weighed me down that it made me tired I couldn't continue anymore I will continue yeah. and you will continue yeah. in Jesus name yeah. you say pastor are you fighting this morning yes honestly <laughs> contending for the faith was delivered unto the saints. Fight the good fight of faith. They want to take the gospel from you. You don't fight. They're taking holiness from you. You don't fight. Your own children you have raised up. They are taking the kernel of the gospel. The power of the gospel. The righteousness of the gospel. The holiness of the gospel. Away from your hand. And you are not smiling you don't have what it takes to keep the heavenly vision. But by the grace of God, I will keep the heavenly vision. And to all the choirs all over the world, belonging to deeper life, don't bring in another thing because of crusade. Let the holiness remain. Let the righteousness remain. Let the change of life remain because the world is at enmity with God. And if you bring in the world, you become an enemy of God. This church, the life. Crusade or no crusade. Ministers' conference or no ministers' conference. Everything the Lord had revealed, we're going to keep unto the end in Jesus name Amen. I, will. I will I said I will I will, I will. I will. sustaining the heavenly vision